Hi, this is Mark Vershep from Georgetown County School District. And recently I had a few teachers ask me to help them create a Google form for parent-teacher conferences. And they wanted to be able to send that Google form out to parents and provide for them options of times for them to sign up for their conference. And I'll scroll down so you can see that. So here's choices for the meeting time. Now, they also wanted a way for as one parent may pick Tuesday morning at 7.45 to 8.15 slot for that choice to disappear for other parents so that way they couldn't double book their sign up. So we were able to do this and the way we were able to do it was through a Google add-on inside of Forms called Choice Eliminator. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up and then what it does. So as I go up here, you can see under add-ons, I'm gonna click on add-ons and I already have it installed. It's called Choice Eliminator Lite. Now I will mention to you, um, if you need to, yours may say when you click on this, it may say get add-ons. And so you're gonna go ahead and get the add-on and you want again, Choice Eliminator Lite. Now the other thing that I wanna show you is before I get started and set this up, is just a couple of the basics. So one, we collected parent email addresses. We also asked them what the student name was, what the parent name was, and then um, their style of meeting, what their preference was. So whether it was through a Google Meet or whether it was through a phone conference, you'll see that um, we did set it up to where if they did choose via phone, that they would enter their phone number just in case their phone number was changed. And then last thing is, is down under this meeting time. Now, the way that this is set up, it looks like it's a multiple choice, but it is actually, if we click on it, it is a drop down. This is important. Instead of picking a multiple choice, you will want to go ahead and create a drop down style of question. Um, and that's going to be important. And I'll show you why, because it really helps with this choice eliminator. So now that I've showed you the entire form, if you come up here and you go to add-ons and you click on it and you do not see the add-on that you need, then what you can do is you can simply add it. So you come over here to the snowman, click on these three dots. You would come down here to add-ons and click on add-ons. And then you would just type in the add-on that you're looking for. So this one up here in search, I would just type in choice eliminator. And you can see as I start typing that in, choice eliminator two and choice eliminator light up here. I prefer light, so I'm gonna click light, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and install this. You can see I already have it installed, so you would just go ahead and click on this and install it. And then after you've installed it, <clears throat> we're gonna come up and I'm gonna click on my add-on. And this is where, again, after I add Choice Eliminator Light, I will click on it, and then I'm gonna choose configure. If for some reason you don't have this option to configure, just go ahead and hit F5 to refresh and it should show up the next time you select it. So I'm gonna hit configure. And then again, it says take note. Um, and it basically, it says that it may not be perfect um, and that if you have a lot of people choosing things at the same time, um, again, they may overlap. But for the most part, for something like this, um, it does seem to work pretty well. So again, I'm gonna come down here and this is where it asked me, okay, so which of these questions do you wanna eliminate? And the question I wanted to eliminate was meeting time. So I'm gonna click on this and then I wanna go ahead and I wanna check this because this is telling it, okay, so these are the questions that I wanna eliminate or these answers um, in this question. And so now that I've got that in, we are all set um, and it is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead um, and I'm just gonna minimize this and you'll see that Choice Eliminator Lite is still up there. And now I'm gonna go to the live form because I wanna show you how this works. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to the preview and now I'm gonna come down um, and I'm just gonna add in, again, an email. I'm gonna add in a child's name. Like I'm a parent signing up for the first time. Um, and so I'm gonna go down, put in these things. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna choose Google Meet, I'll hit next. And now this is where the meeting time is. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to choose uh, this first one right here. We're gonna choose the 2.15 to 2.45 afternoon slot on November 17th. 
So I'm gonna choose that and then I'm gonna hit submit. Now, I just did this in this browser and I did it under my Google account. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and open up another Google account just to show you that if that same live template was out there, so I paste this in and let's pretend this is a different um, parent. So in this one, um, let's pretend that another parent is signing up with a different email address um, in their child. And then they enter this information in, they hit next, they choose phone conference, they hit next, and now when they come down, um, whoops, and I'm sorry, they're just gonna type in their phone number, go ahead next, and then it's gonna ask them for their meeting time. And if you remember, I chose the afternoon on that first Tuesday. So that shouldn't appear if the choice eliminator is working. So I'm gonna click it, and you can see um, right down here, I've got November 17th from 7.45, but I do not have that Tuesday um, afternoon slot available. And that's because of the choice eliminator. So again, I'm in as a different parent under a different account. And you can notice that this Google form, the live version is going ahead and um, eliminating those choices. So I just want to show you that. Um, again, it is a great little tool, um, a nice feature, and it is called choice eliminator. And you can get that um, again as an add-on inside your Google form. And you do that again right under this edit and you go to add-ons um, and you want the choice eliminator light. So good luck setting up your forms.